Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Ms. Nene and welcome to Ms. Nene's Art. Today, today I am starting my first planet series. This is going to be a five-part series where I'm going to do five different planets. Jupiter, Neptune, Let's see. Jupiter, Neptune, Mars, the Moon, and Earth. I'm really excited about this. This is my own interpretation. I don't know how close I can get to the actual um, planets, how they look, but I did match the colors the best I could. So I'm going to be working on rounds, round canvases. This one's it's a 16 by 16 inch um, round canvas that I picked up from Hobby Lobby for 50% off, so I was really happy about that. Um, so, the colors that I'm using, first of all, I'm going to have a black background because I'm going to give that edge to where it's the edge of Jupiter, where you can see the black part would be the space, inner space, where that's the background and the little curve, sort of like this one. Hold on. I did this some while a while ago, and I left it to where it's black on the side to give that illusion that it's just the edge. And I think I said this was like the sun or something. I don't know. <laughs> But it turned out really good. And that's the effect I'm going to do for this one. So the colors I'm going to be using is this color right here is a mix between white and uh, a khaki color from Apple Barrel. The rest of the colors are Tazza paints, burnt sienna, pearl copper gold, yellow orchard, or, or orker, <laughs> light apricot, Naples yellow. And raw sienna. I think I'm going to do probably a straight pour. I'm gonna layer them in the cup and just do a straight pour. That's the plan. So today is Jupiter. Let's get started.
Okay, so at this point, I wasn't really happy with the edges around that negative space. I needed that to be a little more curve, you know, and then the part where that large gap of white, I needed to have, I didn't, I don't really want it to be that much of a opening there. So I think what I was doing at this point was making another little small, uh, cup to pour across that line to break that big gap of white up. And I will be trying to um, fix that area over by the black neg negative space. Again, I'm trying to um, fix that part so it don't look jagged, you know, because the planet is round and I really want to try to get it as close as possible to what I have in my head. So I'm going to be fiddling around with that area just to, um, so, and some scraping and uh, applying and rescraping just to be able to fix and make some type of curve right over there in that area.
Okay, so at this point, I was getting really annoyed, and so I was able to fix that area by the negative space and round it off off camera because I had to take a, a quick little break to look at this painting. And so here it is. So yeah, I got that curve exactly the way that I want it. And oh my God, I think it turned out really good. Is it identical to the planet Jupiter? Of course it's not, I can't, I'm not that good. But um, I was able to get it close enough to the actual planet, I think. Let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts on whether or not I came close to the planet Jupiter. I'm going to show you side-by-side -side comparison in the dry results of this painting and the actual planet Jupiter. So here comes the dry results. So there it is, nice and dry. And right next to it, I'm going to show you the actual planet Jupiter and um, compare the two. And um, so you can tell me if you think that I got close enough. I think I got close enough. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and even subscribing. That would be awesome. So stay tuned for part two, which will be the moon. I'm so excited about this planet series and I hope that you are too. And I hope you follow me through the entire process. So um, I flipped the painting upside down to give it another angle look. And so, um, yeah, I, I'm really happy how this turned out. And stay tuned for part two, like I said. And thank you so, so, so much for joining me today. I appreciate you and I appreciate your time. Thanks so much, guys. See you in part two.